After you've pre-processed and set up a model for a single subject, you'll need to do the same steps for all of the subjects in your data set. This may seem tedious, but doable. We have only 26 subjects and only two runs per subject. An alternative, however, is to script your analysis. Just as an actor has a script which tells him what to say, where to stand, and where to move, so you can write a script that tells your computer how to analyze your data sets. This has the double benefit of automating your analyses and being able to analyze data sets of any size. The code for analyzing two subjects, or 200, is virtually identical. First, we will create a template that contains the code needed to analyze a single subject, and then we will use a for loop to automate that analysis for all of the subjects. When you analyzed sub-08, you created a file called proc.sub08. This contained a list of AFNI commands composed in a manner determined by the ubersubject.py GUI. From the flanker directory, copy this file to the current directory and rename it to proc flanker.sh. We will then need to ensure that we can loop this script over all of our subjects without error. And to do that, we will need to edit the script. To begin, open the proc underscore flanker.sh file in a text editor such as Text Wrangler. Scroll to the conditional statement on lines 26 through 31. If the user provides an input, then the variable subj is set to whatever that argument is. In other words, each variable $subj in the script will be replaced by the input argument. However, there are other instances, usually involving paths, that still have the string sub08 hard-coded into them. In order to make the script more flexible, we'll need to replace these with the subj variable. If you are using Text Wrangler, first go to the menu at the top of the screen and then click on the Search menu. From here, select Find. Search for the string sub-08 and replace it with dollar sign, curly braces, subj. Next, we will need to replace any absolute paths with a relative path. As you can see in the script, there are several lines of code that contain paths, starting with users aeon desktop flanker. We will replace this with the dollar sign pwd variable, which is a shorthand for the path to the current working directory. This will ensure that the script will be adapted to the current computer's directory structure and that no errors will be thrown due to the script being unable to locate where certain files are. Search for the string users aeon desktop flanker, or whatever the name of the path is, which points to the current directory containing your subjects, and replace it with dollar sign curly braces pwd. Also replace line 255, the path users aeon a global, or whatever your username is, with tilde slash abin which will point to your AFNI library. We will now use this updated preprocessing script in a for loop to analyze all the subjects in our data set. Use this for loop for i in backticks cat subject list tcsh proc flanker dollar sign i and then move dollar sign i results to the dollar sign i directory. This will run the script proc flanker.sh for each subject in the file subjectlist.txt, using each consecutive line in the file as an argument each time the script runs. Each analysis will take 5 to 10 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. Once we've completed the analysis for all of the subjects, we can do a group level analysis to determine whether our congruency effect generalizes to the population.